welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha Claiborne, and we're going to get ready to go over the Bring Back My Bars that are releasing um, January 1st of 2022. The first one that we're going to talk about is Ambrosa. So I'm going to smell these first, and then I'm going to go through and give you the scent description, and we'll see how they compare. Again, scents are subject to each person, so take it as you wish. Okay. So I'm liking this one. It's a fruity scent for sure. I'm smelling a couple different. almost have like a pineapple scent in it too. All right, so the scent description for Ambrosa is like sweetness, fruit salad ever, tropical pineapple, mandarin orange slices, juicy pears, and ripe concord grapes with hints of jam and fruit nectar. I would say that Ambrosa is very good and it smells just like the scent description that it says it's it's true to what it says banana nut bread is up next mm, okay this one's definitely for you bakery people you can kind of get that from its name i smell vanilla in it and a little bit almost like i want to say a little bit of cinnamon but let's read this scent description on it. This one says, right from the oven with ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. So that must be where I'm getting that little hint of cinnamon from. Uh, banana nut bread, if you are a bakery friend, you need to add this one to your list. Next up, we have banana berry. Okay. This one reminds me of like that banana boat scent. Um, I'm getting some other hints in it. The name is banana berry. I wouldn't really call it berries in it, but I almost smell like a hint of vanilla. So let's read the scent description on this one. So banana berry is lusciously sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberries. Um, I wouldn't really, I don't really smell the strawberry scent in it, but it might be something that needs to be warmed to pick up that scent. Next we have banana rama. Um, let's see here. This one, when I see the outside, ooh. When I see the outside, it makes me think of pineapples, but definitely not pineapples. It's Banana Rama, and y'all, this smells just like the yellow Laffy Taffy. If y'all know what that smells like, then y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, because that's what this is. A banana um, banana Laffy Taffy, the yellow one. Mm, that's all I'm going to say about that one. If you like <laughs> yellow Laffy Taffy, banana flavored, then this is for you. The scent description for Banana Rama is sweet, golden, ripe bananas. Sweet and simple. That's exactly what it is. Doesn't need anything extra in it. Next up, we have blue raspberry ice. Hmm. At first. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The reason why I take the wax out is sometimes the oils and scents will sit on the top. Um, so, you, I like to smell the whole thing because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just in my mind, but I like to feel, smell the whole bar. Um. This is a blue scent. I would honestly say I'm not as happy about the scent as I was hoping to be. It could be that I need to warm this one up as well. It has been in a box with all these scents because they were shipped to me. Um, but I'm going to read the scent description for you guys. Remember racing to the neighborhood ice cream trucks for those red, white, and blue popsicles? This fragrance recreates those perfect childhood moments with a stack of sweet cherry ice, white lemon, and blue raspberry. Um, I guess in my head, I'm thinking like a blue icy is what I was picturing, but I do smell the hints of the cherry, the lemon, and I, and those other scents in there. Um, again, I'm very, very picky, and it's funny that I even sell scents because I was so picky when it comes to scents. This one would not be on my top favorites. It's just okay, and this is blue raspberry ice. Blueberry rush. Okay. It's different. I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, it's just it's just okay to me. So Blueberry Rush, it says that it has a sweet surge of ripe blueberry, leads a luscious boutique of lively cranberries, black currant, and pomegranate. Um, again, this is not on my top of my favorite, so that's the Blueberry Rush. Next up is Boho. Okay. I feel like I've smelled these before. Um, I've been with Scentsy for quite a few years. I just started recently um, in the past two years selling Scentsy more. I mean, being more intentional and selling it full time. Um, but I want to say I've smelled these before. And it's not giving me the same 
like olfactory scent that I remember smelling it before. It almost has a flowery scent to me. And for some reason, I was thinking it smelled like a man, but it's not. But let's read the scent description. A, ooh, I don't know this word. It's some type of um, fragrance. Bohemian? If I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, fragrance of clove, sudden winter apples, entwined with juicy black plums, candied mulberries, and cinnamon sticks. Now, after I read the scent description, it's very true to its scent description for this one. Very, very true. So if that is your type of scent, this is definitely for you. Um, it's different. I'm not opposed to it. I do actually have a weird liking for it. It's not normally a scent that I go for. I normally like manly scents, but it's not bad. Boho. Next up, we have bubble gum. Woo! It is strong. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. It is very, very strong. Um, I'm getting a very strong hint of a mint in it. Um, I don't know if it will smell different warm. I do smell a little sweetness in it, but I do smell some mint. Um, so let me read the scent description to you and see what, what's in this bad boy. True scent of baseball card bubble gum, sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. Okay, so I'm not crazy. There is a little bit of mint in this one, you guys. If you like bubble gum and a mint, then this would be more for you. I would say it's almost a really strong sweet scent, but not like a sugary sweet. It's just different. Um, do I have any bubblegum fans out there? Comment below. I'm not trying to diss on your scent. It's just different. Casting Spells is the next one. Okay. Almost reminds me of a bakery scent with this one. I'm getting some vanilla and maybe maple. I'm kind of interested. Maybe apples? I'm getting a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's see what the scent description says. A bewitching blend of apple drizzle, roasted pears, and cinnamon bark. Okay, so, yeah. I would say this is true to its scent. It is more of, um, definitely has apple scent in it and a little bit of spices in it, too. Um, so, just keep that in mind. Um, but overall, it's not that bad. I kind of like it. Next up, we have cherry almond pie. Okay, I want to tell you guys I am not a bakery person. So this one is not for me. It's not bad, like, if you like bakery. But it is not for me. And I do not like cherry. That is one thing that I'm big on. I do not like cherry scent. I don't know what it is. Woo! Okay, but it, I can definitely smell cherry and a bakery scent in there. So, Orvel's favorite dessert, graham cracker, sweet almond, cream, and cherries. So, if you love cherry, this is 100% for you. Cherry Limeade, they are just hitting all my buttons. Y'all know I just said I'm not a big fan of cherry, so let's see what we get here. Oh, I'm having trouble opening it. Okay, I do like this one a bit more, I think because it's not much of a cherry scent as the other one is. I smell some kind of like some sweetness in it and some other citrusy scents mixed in with it. So, the scent description for Cherry Limeade, Zesty Key Lime, Sweet Cherry, and Juicy Berry, a delicious scent reminiscent of a soda fountain drink. I would say this is true to its description as well. Um, it is definitely for people who like zesty and um, fruitiness in it and a little bit of cherry. Next up, we have Coconut Cotton. Okay. I'm going to tell you what, I like the simplicity so far of this one. It's just simple, it's light, it's not zesty, it's not going all crazy. I can't get this out, y'all. It's not nothing, you know, that's like, whoa, when you smell it. It's just calm, and I actually like that. The scent description for this one is sun warm cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. Okay, I can feel me on a beach, you guys. Who likes the beach? Comment below. I can, I get it. I like this one. It's light and just simple. If you like a beachy scent, then this one is definitely for you. It's coconut cotton. Next up is Grape Granetta. I think that's how we pronounce this. I don't know. If you guys have a way that it's supposed to be said, just type it below and then I'll know for next time. I'm going to tell you what, I am not no major when it comes to, um, 
words. Like, that's just not me in pronunciation. Never has been and probably never will be. Ooh, this is very grapey. All right, so this, like I said, it's definitely lots of grapes. That's about all I can say about it. There is some other scent in there that I'm picking up. I can't identify it, but let's read this scent description and see if it tells me what it was. Sun warmed grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysickle. I'm not really picking up the pineapple. The, the grape is just really overpowering. If you love grape, I'm telling you, get this one. It reminds me of grape Kool-Aid. That's what I'm going to compare it to. Grape Kool-Aid. It's grape. And this is grape granetta. I don't know if I'm... Bra. I don't have all that in it or not. I don't know. <laughs> Huckleberry and Clementine is up next. Ooh, oh, oh, y'all. I can't. I'm going to smell sweet tea in it. Um, I'm just going to read you guys a scent description on this one. Huckleberry preserves Clementine in a sprig of strawberry vine. And I'm going in the box. You might like this one. I am good on this one. I'm going to give it a hard pass. I'm going to put this one right back in my box. And that was Huckleberry and Clementine. Huckleberry and Sage. It's not bad. It has a couple different fruit scents in there. It's not like the other Huckleberry one that we just um, smelled. But let me go ahead and give you the scent description for this one. Tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage. Um, I can smell a little bit of um, different things in there. It's not bad at all. It's not, like I said, not like the other Huckleberry one that we just smelled. This one isn't bad. Huckleberry Sage. It's pretty good. Mandarin Moon is up next. Mmm. I can definitely smell. It's like a spicy orange. That's what I'm getting from this one. It's not something that I typically go for, but it's not bad. Let's read the scent description. Spirited cinnamon and glowing ginger illuminate by sweet orange and star and nice. So, yes. What I was picking up on was that ginger. So, definitely ginger and that orangey mandarin scent in there not bad overall so mandarin moon if you're thinking fruity it's not fruity i will put that it's more of a spice to it mandarin moon next on the list is maui mist Ooh, ooh, this is good okay i don't know what's in it but i'm liking it it's a fresh, um, not like clean fresh, just like a clean scent freshness. I, I think of the beach almost. Oh, I like it. Let's see what's in this one, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So, creamy bouquet of rose, lilac, wood, and must drizzled with creamy vanilla. I was going to say vanilla, and I'm like, Maui Miss Vanilla. Hmm. But, no, I do smell that hint of vanilla in there. Y'all, it is good. I really like it. It's a must-have. Add this to your list. Ma uh, Maui Mist. Midnight Fig. Okay. It's different. Um, I'm smelling... I'm smelling the color purple, but not really grape. I don't know if you can smell in color, but... But it definitely has a hint of, like, a woodsiness to it. Um, but also... I'm probably picking up on that fig. Um, earthly ripened figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses. So if you like a more dark scent and um, you like the smell of figs, then this will be for you. I'm not opposed to it, just different. And again, that was Midnight Fig. Next up is Pink Haze. Ooh, this one is sweet, but not that sickening sweet. I like this one. Let's read this scent description. I must pick up cotton candy on it. So, a sweet confection of berries, nectarines, and vanilla laced with whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. I like it. And I'm not normally a sweet person at all. I'm normally like manly scents or something just kind of clean. But this one's pretty good. And again, that was Pink Haze. Next up is Salted Caramel Cupcake. Ooh. Y'all, I want a coffee now. It smells, that's what it reminds me of a little bit. Okay, salted caramel cupcake. I'm not a bakery person, and I normally don't put um, bakery scents out in my house, but I just really want to eat this one. <laughs> it's 
smells good. Um, of course, I can smell um, like a vanilla in it. And of course, that strong caramel. So let's read the scent description for this one. Creamy golden caramel with hints of cocoa and delicate sea salt crowns a buttery cupcake. Mmm, it is true to its scent description. And the other thing I was picking up on is the cocoa. I am a fan of cocoa. Oh, it makes me want to drink right now and to eat a bakery item. And again, that was salted caramel cupcake. Next up, we have shimmer. I know this is a lot of my customers' favorite. It's, oh, it is so good. I haven't smelled it in a while. Mmm. Okay, so this is a light scent. And just, I don't know. I don't want to say manly in it, but it's like a, like a, oh, you guys, it's just good. I don't know. Let me see what's in it. Get your girly on sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and sensual white, must crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. Mmm. Mmm. It's just good, y'all. I don't know what else to say other than it's good. Get that. Shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. To all my customers who obsess over shimmer, now I know why you do. It is great. Next up is Simply Vanilla. Okay. It's definitely vanilla. <laughs> um, let me get it out of the packaging real quick so I can smell the other side. Mmm. I like vanilla. I'm not going to say I'm a huge fan of vanilla, but out of the vanillas that we have had out, this would not be my top of my favorite for just a vanilla scent. It's just okay. And um, let's read the scent description for this one. It says the pure fragrance, classically warm vanilla, French vanilla with a touch of coconut milk. I'm not really smelling the coconut milk, and I'm a big fan of coconut milk. I put coconut milk in almost everything, but... It's just okay. It's vanilla. It's light. It's not a strong vanilla scent. It's just, just enough to get you vanilla. Next up is Spiced Orange Harvest. Okay. Definitely smelling the orange in this one. And some spices. I'm trying to identify what that exact spice is. It's not quite a cinnamon. Maybe nutmeg? Let's see what the scent description tells us. Strong sweet oranges spiced with cloves and cinnamon. Clove is what it was. That's what I was picking up on. So if you like a orange spice, this is you. This was Spiced Orange Harvest. Next up is sugar. Mmm. It's a very light, sweet scent. It's not overpowerful. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm not normally a sweet person, but, well, I am sweet, but my senses don't like sweet that much. The scent description for this one says, fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. Okay, so I think that lemon helps tone down that sweetness some. But it's not bad overall. So this is sugar. I would say for sugar, if you like something that's not too strong, not too sweet, but not too blah, then this is perfect for you. Sugar. Last but not least is Thunderstorm. Okay. I would consider this for a man, but I'm getting kind of like a, a clean soapy vibe off of this also. I was kind of hoping for more of a strong manly scent, kind of like a mystery man or a my hero scent, but that's not what I'm getting from this one. So Thunderstorm says very refreshing, <laughs> sharp, spicy, outdoor fragrance like breeze in the storm. Okay, so I can see where they're going with um, the name of this one. I was just thinking dark. Um, but if they're going for that f a refreshing, um, spicy outdoor, yes, that's definitely this one then. My brain was way over here and theirs was over here. Thunderstorm. All the scents that we just talked about are going to be released January 1st, 2022. Um, you can buy them individually in sets or the, all of them, which is a whole bundle. And of course, you'll save the most money that way. But now I want to talk about something that's going to be exclusive to our club members only. If you are not a club member, you need to become one down in the description. Click that link and become a Scentsy Club member. There are so many perks. That's a whole other video in itself. But here are just a few perks for you. So if you are a Scentsy Club subscriber and you have that club or you're about to go get one, these bars will 
only be available to you. First up, we have Aussie Plum. They have all these bougie words in here. Melagini? Melagini? I, I don't I don't even know how to say that. I'm not even going to keep attempting. A juicy plum, pink grapefruit, and tart pomegranate with smooth vanilla. I do not have these bars on hand as they're only for club members starting in January. And as you know, this video is being done in December, so you guys can get it ahead of time. I do not have these bars on hand, but oh, I want to smell that. Bore Bore Blossom will be the next scent that is available to club members only. Get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits in lush orchard, balanced with a kiss of fresh green violet leaf. Mm. Yeah, I need to smell these. I'm going to add them all to my club, like, as soon as they come available in January. Next is Caramel Pear Crisp. Perfectly ripe pear in juicy nectarine. Blanketed in a brown sugar crust and topped with a dollop of warm caramel cream. That sounds good. Oh, it's making me hungry. Next is Hendrix. Rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, and bold pink pepper. Harmonized with sweet tobacco flour. That sounds pretty nice. That sounds like that mainly scent I was talking about that I like. I might have to come back and let y'all know. Next is My Home, a new name for our favorite spicy cinnamon and floral scent. It says it's a must try, so that's going to have to be in there too. What are you guys thinking? What are your thoughts? Like, I don't know. I, I like hearing these scent descriptions, but now I'm like, I need to get my hands on that and smell it. The next one available to club members is Oats and Honey, a buttery mix of toasted oats and tupelo honey. I think I said that one right. Oven crisp with vanilla maple. Sounds pretty good, you guys. Simply Rose, an open bud of classic floral fragrance. That just sounds simple, just like the name, Simply Rose. Next is Southern Evening. Like a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake, this romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. Mm, that sounds nice. I cannot wait. Toffee Butter Crunch. Salted Caramel Glaze, Candied Walnut, Toffee, and Vanilla Bean. All the ingredients for a delectable sensory confection are here in one sweet, intoxicating fragrance you'll savor all season long. These descriptions make me want it. Last but not least for these 10 bars exclusively for Scentsy Club members is World Traveler. World Traveler, blackberry, dark pomegranate, and oak bark inspired adventure. So again, these 10 fragrances that I just listed are for Scentsy Club's members only. So if you're not a club, like I've told you guys over and over, go be in the club. It's down below. Thanks again for joining in with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Remember, scents are subjective, so everybody has their own um, idea of what something smells like and what people like. So you might have a different opinion on these scents if you're wanting to try them out. Make sure you shop my link below. And if you want to become a Scentsy Club member, y'all already know, it's down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.